morning, sir. Another high-profile individual abusing their power or an innocent man wrongly accused. The trial of Kevin Spacey was always going to generate huge media interest. The Crown Prosecution Service has authorised four charges of sexual assault against Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey relating to three men. The Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey has been charged by the Crown Prosecution Service with a further seven sex offences. By the end of the trial, Spacey faced nine counts of sexual offence allegations by four different men from 2001 to 2013. It was at this West End theatre during a charity event in 2005 that one of those men said Spacey grabbed him by his private parts and made lewd comments about him. The man later telling police it was like a cobra. But the Hollywood actor said the man made his entire story up from beginning to end, describing the prosecution case as weak. During the trial, Spacey called himself a big flirt. The prosecution said he was a sexual bully. Another man claimed Spacey drugged him and he woke up in the actor's flat to find the Oscar winner performing a sex act on him. The Hollywood actor denied drugging him and said it was a consensual sexual experience and romantic situation. Central to the prosecution's case was that he used his power and status to carry out the assaults. Many of them included allegations that he grabbed, squeezed and touched his four victims' genitals and buttocks over their clothing between 2005 and 2013, mostly during his time as artistic director at the Old Vic Theatre. One accuser claimed Spacey grabbed his genitals on their way to a ball at Elton John's house in 2002. But giving evidence, the singer said the actor attended the White Tie and Tiara event in 2001, the only year he could remember him attending. Grateful to our fans. During the trial, the jury heard claim and counterclaim, although Spacey admitted he got the signals wrong with one accuser, but also described a sexual encounter with another as a romantic situation. He said he was lonely at times and found it hard to trust people because of his fame. Before this trial, there had already been multiple allegations in the United States by men and women, some leading to private prosecutions, about Spacey's behaviour. Allegations he's always denied and private lawsuits he successfully defended. But the damage to his 40-year career has been considerable. The TV and film projects dried up. You know, I, I happen to believe that we get what we deserve. Netflix dropped him from their hit show House of Cards, successfully suing him for costs incurred totaling $31 million. Spacey still has two films, including a British political thriller slated for release this year. But now that he's been acquitted, the question is whether he can rebuild his career to its previous stature. Paul Hawkins, GB News.